All right, we're live. DTLT today. DTLT today. Pilot episode. This is the first one. Yeah, that's what a pilot means. <laughs> <laughs> Very first. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Okay, you're my sort. I don't go to Wikipedia. I go to you for <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not really like a a dictionary or a encyclopedia. I'm more like a thesaurus. A thesaurus. <laughs> pilot first. <laughs> What is a pilot, Jim? It's good to be back on TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be back on TV as Jim Groom. Yeah. Not as one of many characters. Yeah, but we're not going to talk about DS-106. We've no. got enough of that. We're what not. are we going to talk about today on DTLT today? Well, I, it's our pilot episode, so we don't have to be too formal. We're no. playing around with stuff, but I thought maybe we could talk about the Mac stuff, which I know you're such a huge, <laughs> huge fan of Apple. <laughs> I don't dislike Apple. I, I just don't understand like why people spend half their life talking about it. Yeah, I don't either. Like you and Andy. But I do. You and Andy <laughs> should be doing this. It should be she, you and Andy's show. Well, I can't. So you guys can be on under vacation. the table like oh, Mac, <laughs> Mac. <laughs> nice, nice yeah. call. <laughs> the first. <thing. laughs> we got to set no. a standard here. Fine. Well, we don't have to talk about Apple stuff. What other things are no, there? No, let's talk about Lion, because it will be fun. You've learned something about it today that you can share with yeah. people, and then I can make a fun of it. Okay. That, that's fair enough. Okay. All right. So um, I installed Lion on my laptop and my desktop. Mm -hmm. I think you can install it three times or five times. I'm not sure how many times, but it's definitely more than one. Yeah. So uh, 29 bucks. it seemed worth it to me. Um, to download and, get, and give it a try. So is it 29 bucks if you have like Snow Leopard yeah. or if you have Leopard exactly. or just to go right up? You have right to up. have Snow Leopard. You have to be able to upgrade it. So you can't jump. You can't jump because you have to, the only way that they're delivering it is the Mac App Store, which is only available on Snow Leopard. Okay. So if you have Leopard, there's no way, they don't sell box copies anymore. They don't press any discs. So, so. Uh, let's, let's take a little divergence right here okay let's talk about the mac app store yeah. and the app approach okay do you think and this is one of my problems with apple as much as apple has been like the leading innovator and they have mm -hmm. i mean all the way back to itunes and music up through the app store for the iphone mm -hmm. they've been amazing at getting people to pay and i think that's an important model i mean i don't sure. want to ignore it yeah but the problem with it also is not only getting it to pay but also kind of taking that app logic and divorcing it almost entirely from the idea of the web. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we see that not just with Apple products, but we see that with the iPhone, with the iPad, which you know a lot, a lot about. Those are Apple products. iPhone and iPad? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> yeah. But I mean. Not just Apple products. But we see but this also, particularly with Apple, <laughs> with applications, right? Right. Like we're taking people off of the web in some ways. And mm -hmm. it kind of, you know, right or wrong, I don't know. I don't want to get into that argument. But I kind of feel more comfortable on an open web. Yeah. Well, I mean, one thing that I would say in, app, in fairness to Apple, Apple invented WebKit. Or they were, they were the ones who worked on WebKit primarily, open source it, put it out there, uh -huh. and that's the primary backbone to browsers. Even Android's, you know, Chrome, sorry, not Android's browser, I think Android is different, but Chrome's browser is built on WebKit. Firefox is not, the only one that's not, as far as I know. I don't know if IE has it as a backbone. But, but, I'm, but I'm not saying that, like, you know, iPads and iPhones can't get access to the web. No, they obviously I know you can. Not. Right. But the way in which we're th rethinking it, it's kind of like, the web becomes an afterthought to this paid product. It's like iPhones and iPads have more in common more and more with paid cable TV right. than they do with our idea of the open web. But and that's a model. It's not necessarily yeah. an indictment. I'd, well, I think the people demanded that, though. And that, that's part of the problem is consumers said, when Apple put out the iPhone for an entire year, mm -hmm. they said, we think web is the way to go. Create a web app. And people said, well, no, we really want applications. We want to be able yeah. to develop for this device. We think it could do amazing things. And they said, we think web apps are the way to go. Go with web apps. And people were like, no, really. Quit fooling around and give us some sort of software development kit to make native things. And I mean, that was four years ago now. And you know, some things have changed in terms of what the web can do with HTML5 sure. that weren't available back then. 
that right. maybe help the argument that you can do more on the web. You know, one of the arguments back then I remember was like you couldn't take advantage of a GPS function on a web app. So if you wanted any sort of application that said, where are you, I can show you restaurants and stuff, you sort of had to have a native application to do that. More and more, those HTML5 applications can do things like location data. But I think the problem with that is it doesn't do it well. There's usually a lag to that. You have to open a website, which means it's got to pop open a browser. It's got to load all that information. A native application, you pop it open, and there it is. So. You know, I can go either way on it. Um, you know, I think there's benefits to both, and I do think, in Apple's fairness, that they still innovate in both approaches. I mean, they're constantly pushing forward uh, like open source Ping. technologies. Yeah, well, uh, let's not get into <laughs> Apple's <laughs> social networks. Yeah, but I don't think their their innovation. I mean, I think their innovation with hardware and with approaches to mobile and iPad have been amazing. I agree, mm -hmm. but I I don't see their innovation in regards to making the web an open, more productive space. Is that Darth Vader? Yeah, what the hell is that? It sounds like Darth Vader's out in our hallway. I'm a little afraid. Yeah, that is trippy. <laughs> that is trippy. I'm afraid to even go out there and check what that is. Should I go? I don't know. Hold oh. on. Put on the wig. Maybe some people don't recognize you. There's like this sound like... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> What is it? It's Joe Profit. Okay, let me let hey. you go. Come in here. Yes, Joe. Oh. I, I expected I'm like. For the show. I love your shades. Pilot people. Now Pilot. I'm getting a pair of Beginner those. show. This is the quality. Um, while Jim is gone, let me correct Jim in many ways and just say that uh, he is. Uh, He's misguided in a lot of things. Um, it's, it's pretty typical for him to go off on rants like that. And you'll see as we go on with this show and shows from here and forward uh, that typically his rants mean absolutely nothing and that you should just disregard them. So typically if Jim is speaking, you can go ahead and pop open Spotify or whatever it is you do and listen to some music. But when I'm talking, that's when you know that the gold is coming, spewing forth here. Um, so just to give you a heads up, I, it's pilot episode, so we're getting started with these things, and I know that that can be difficult. I'll try these on. Ah, prescription sunglasses. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this digressed into app versus web. I, it, it's an interesting discussion. We're trying to keep these to 15 minutes, so and I, yeah, I could talk at length about this, and I think that there are fair arguments on both sides uh, about who's correct and who's not, or if there even is one side, why can't it be both? And I think my argument in favor of Apple would be that they do both, that they innovate and that they push forward open web technologies like HTML5, like fast JavaScript engines, things that help web apps become better, but that they also allow a very robust software development kit for when people do want to have native apps. If more people are using native apps and buying native applications, that's good for developers, that the app economy has paid not just Apple, but also it has paid, you know, many independent software developers too. So there's an argument there. Um, and it's kind of nice right now because I have no counterpoint, so I'll just keep popping these out, and this is just pure gold uh, since Jim is not here. Um, I think he's coming back. Um, but anyway, it, and it sh we should probably talk, maybe, uh, we may have a little bit of time to talk about the Mac App Store, or maybe that's something for a separate conversation, because the Mac App Store is different from the app economy and the iPad and iPhone. Yeah. I was just letting them know about everything that you had said incorrectly. <laughs> what did I say incorrectly? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You didn't I actually took that as a side wrong. note. Uh -huh. That student, those were his glasses. Those Who's are glasses? Joe Prophet's glasses. Uh, a student, so I okay. had to take them off. Gotcha. He was like, "What are you doing with my glasses?" And I forgot <laughs> totally. Yeah. Oops. Talking about the economy. Right. Well, it's a rough one. Yeah. But and what were you explaining to the people that I don't understand? I was saying that I don't know that there has to be a winner or a loser in web versus applications. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think that they're done. No, that's fair. And so I think in Apple's fairness, they haven't given up. Here, here's my problem. Why do we always get hooked in the idea of, like, we're defending this corporation? Like, in Apple's fairness, or, like, Apple this, and, like, I want to come, and, like, I want to tell you why, how much I want to defend. It's like we've kind of moved into this situation of, like, Coke, Pepsi. Yeah. Uh, for GM. Right. It's not a very healthy relationship to a company that is pretty much defined by very good design and powerful things. I use a Mac, I don't want to say, but like we're kind of in this weird relationship to it. Yeah. That was my problem with the iPad. It's like so many people when it came out were like, this will change education. Yeah. It's like, I, don't, I just, it I, felt to me like, really? Like, and it's, that's where the conversation is right now? And it's not that I don't have any criticism of Apple, but I'm saying... <laughs> it's that but. It's See? the but. It's that constant it, but. Well, but if we're going to talk about web technologies, you're talking about the company that probably has the most, you know, um, I mean, I mean, in terms of like... HT what has Apple done for the web lately? Their, their mobile browser has the most you know, adoption of HTML5, of newer web technologies that help you take advantage of How it. How are they doing with uh, Flash? I would argue that Flash is a closed <laughs> technology, and why would anyone want to use it? Exactly. That's what Apple argued. Yeah. And did. Yeah. It was just nice of them fair. to do that for us. And, you so know. Like, close the door. Well, I mean, we've seen Shut better door. battery life. I mean, we could go into a whole thing Shut about that. Shut that door. You know, we might actually be reaching 15 minutes here. This is going to be hard to make any points. Then you, you close it off then. Close you go off. on to another point. Apple's done. Yeah. What else? What else? Um, we should talk about the Mac App Store at some point, though. Maybe not today. Mm -hmm. But that's interesting because it's separate from iPhone and iPad, but that's how Apple is going to be delivering software from here on out. And that's, that's how right. Lion was delivered, which some people thought was the biggest because it's an entire operating system. And it was literally a digital download, hit a button, nobody um, sold me a disk that I then, you know, had to file away in a cabinet. I can always go back and re-download it. In fact, like I mentioned, I did the desktop and the laptop. Right. And as soon as I downloaded it on one, I could go to the other, and it, and it knew that I had paid for it already. Well, you did a couple of things. Like, you downloaded the iMovie mm -hmm. 11, right. like 15 bucks. Yeah. And you I was know. able to put that on both of them, too. Yeah, I just remember back in 1994, 95, like, it was so much easier. Like you go to the wares sites and <laughs> you would just download like all sorts it's of so things. It's so much and easier to now pirate it's like software. Everything's like, let me go to the little store. Let me go and buy my little thing. Well, it's like easy we've too. Lost our, we lost our backbone. It's easy, like but we, it costs The web money. was once going to be, you know, this space for sharing and doing all these things and now it's become a place for like, okay, let me still, go to the mall. Still using the Thanks, web. Thanks, Apple, for helping bring still the mall using to the, the web. web. Yeah, you are using the web. You're right, abusing it. You're using the web to get to their app mall. All right. We're going over, I think. When well, did we start you got to stop it. Do we even know? We I don't know when we started it. But we're trying to keep it to 15 minutes. So I will cut this short and say, for Jim, app's bad, web good. Well, no. <laughs> no. No, I, I, you know what? Short, we should that. probably stop this show and do a whole different show. Not today, though. Why not? I don't know. I thought you were going swimming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gotta go. Well, look, I got the new yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaky. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? It's yeah. really tight. You know what? But and at least now you can show your face at the pool without looking like a yeah. creeper. I was totally, because when I was in the pool, I had my cap on you and my glasses. On. Yeah. Because I felt so weird with that little uh, Dr. Oblivion yeah. tuft. I, would, I wouldn't bring my child near you. <laughs> Yeah, I must have. And my daughter, Tess, knew how to get my goat. She kept on pulling off my hat. I was like, stop, uh, Tess. And she knew. Yeah. All right. Well, DTLT today. That, uh, that's a bit of a tongue twister. DTLT today. DTLT today. Pilot episode in the bag. And we'll cut off anything over 15 minutes. We'll <laughs> just just cut stop it. right there. We should. Yeah. We should be vigilant about we it. We should. We'll, we'll need to get a timer and just have it up there so we know. Okay. Or when I hit broadcast, I'll need to know. But awesome. Anyway, we'll try to do this every single day, right? Yeah. Every day. Every every day. Every, every working day. Every working day, we'll be here online talking. So peace. Bye bye.
Thank you.